Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. So in Austin alone, there are more than 25 amazing breweries, some of which we visited right here on this show. But until today, we've never visited a brewery quite like this. In fact, this brewery is so rare, it's the only one of its kind in the entire state of Texas. So what makes this place so special? Well, we're sending Yellow Texas co-host Ariel to find out. Welcome to Texas Sake Company. This one-of-a-kind brewery is putting a spin on this traditional 2,000-year-old dream. Unique to Texas, this brewery is using innovative flavors while using century-old techniques to ensure every bottle represents its rich Japanese heritage. This brewery is unlike anything Texas has ever seen before because until now, no one's actually taken the leap to brew sake here in the Lone Star State. So does it live up to all the hype? Let's go find out. This is like the first time I think I've ever had a sake that I actually enjoyed. This is really good sake. To get the inside story, we met up with Tim the Odor to learn a little bit more about why sake in Texas. We, we had the, this incredible opportunity to, to uh, join into the craft American sake movement. Um, we've been here about four years. The company was originally founded in 2011, but then we, we took it over from the original founder who had introduced the idea of like making craft sake, but we're part of this grand educational experience. This is sake, it's fermented rice. It's steeped in history and tradition, and, and now we're making our own right here in Austin. And now you're gonna take me behind the scenes? Yeah, absolutely. We got Jeff. We got Jeff somewhere in the back doing like his madman thing. So okay, perfect. Well, I'm yeah. excited. Next, we met up with Jeff Bell, Toji, aka the Brewmaster. Sake is made up of four ingredients. We have yeast, water, rice, and koji. Once we learned about the ingredients that make up this traditional Japanese drink, Jeff toured me around the place where I even got to see sake in the making. That is a lot of sake, y'all. I'm ready to go try some. And try some, I did. I met up with Caitlin Walsh, bar manager and sake connoisseur. So what do we have going on right here? In the flight, you get to try our four main types of sake. Okay. So the first one is gonna be Junmai. Uh, it's gonna be light, crisp, have very melony undertone. Oh, that does yeah. taste a little fruity, I like that. The next one is gonna be Junmai Nigori. Kind of a lychee berry, coconut flavor. It's very different though, right? It is very different. Filtering totally changes the flavor profile and everything. So the next one is gonna be Nama, short for Namazake. It's okay. also raw, unpasteurized, straight out of the tank. And probiotic because it's uh, fermenting. So you know, that, that's why we drink it for the probiotics. For the probiotics, it's healthy, it's good for your body, right? Good for the yeah, health. Good for yeah, good for the health. Oh. Oh, I like that. That's a little stronger. That's, that's yeah, a, little a little stronger. A little bit stronger. Just a little bit. Uh, the last one is going to be oak junmai. So this is the same thing as our junmai, but we take a small portion of the batch and we soak it with oak chips for two weeks to try. So it's it's, it's got its own Texas flair to it. Yeah. This is really good. I'm glad you like it. I'm glad y'all came up with it. <laughs> I had such a great experience at Texas Sake Company. So great to see a brewery that's doing things so differently, but hey, that's what's so great about Texas. Interested in tasting this craft Texas Sake for yourself? Type in TXSake.com for tasting hours and more.